I am going to get a Radical Do. Um, I already have pictures that uh, I printed out and I'm going to take with me. She knows exactly what to do. Um, but it's going to be short. I mean, look, it, it's nice, but it's not nice at the same time. So um, I'm also probably going to do low lights or color my hair. Um, but that won't, ugh. but that won't be for a while. Um, first I have to get the haircut and then when I have shorter hair, it'll be easier to take care of for the summer. We have a lot of ticks here in New Jersey, uh, and down in South Jersey where I live, we did not have a very cold winter. I don't know if that has anything to do with the tick population or not. Some people say it does, um, but I've already started picking ticks off of my dogs. So now they get a medication called Simparico. They already have a heartworm med. There's Simparico Tria, Trio, which is both the heartworm and tick and uh, flea killer. It actually kills them as soon as they bite the dog. <laughs> um, and I, it was remarkable last summer when I had them on it. I start, I went from having ticks walking around on the couch and um, up the walls and on the dogs to no ticks as soon as I put them on Simparico. Simparica. But anyway, um, if your dog is not on heartworm, I would highly recommend that you get them on it. And one easy way is to get them on Simparica Tria, Trio, which is a, does, it kills everything, like basically everything but the dog. So anyway, um, I'm going to be coming back to you. I'm, tr I'm already like organizing the different projects that I have to update and I have to organize this room more before I can really proceed with that but um, you know I will let you know that I am going to be coming back to you with a new haircut. So I have been white haired I just want to say for how long um, couple years and I don't think there's any reason for me to look older than I am um, and I do have the itch to color but not all over I will probably do balayage low lights something like that I already ordered color from e salon I talked to my hairdresser about doing it myself and she's you know gave me some tips and, and things that'll help um, when I go to do it myself. So I think I already put in the work, you know, people will say, Oh, you're just giving up. No, I didn't give up for a couple of years. I'm giving up now. So I'll be putting more color in. I know the last update I had had quite a bit of color in, but from that day forward, I've had none. So my hair is just, this is, it in its natural state. It's very healthy. That's the one thing I like about it. Um, and it will start to not be quite as healthy once I start coloring, but you know, we'll see how that goes. If I am just putting low light streaks in, then basically I, I can make the decision myself to stop. Um, I don't think I'm going to though, because I am tired of looking at myself and I don't have nice white hair. Some of you might argue that that's not really true. I have, it's gone really gray. And so I just really wanna warm it up a little bit, I think. So anyway, I don't have a lot of makeup on. My makeup friends out there only have like under eye, which is probably all creased and a little bit of eyeshadow eyeliner and mascara. So anyway, I just have to finish up work. Um, we'll take that out. So I just have a little bit of makeup on. I didn't do my eyebrows, which is a shame. I do have something that's helping my eyebrows grow and I will share that soon. Um, when I do a review for that company, I, it's a individually owned and operated company. And so, 
you know, I like to try to, you know, support small business. So I will go ahead and they didn't, I bought it. They didn't send it to me. But there's a little card that came with it that said, you know, we're a small company. We would really appreciate um, a, an honest review for this product. I can say it's working. So, um, yeah. So anyway, stay tuned. The next thing you'll see is me with my short hair. Hi, I'm here to finish off this video. Um, as you can see, I got quite a bit of hair cut off. Um, I, it's a little shorter than I normally like, but I told her to cut off as much as she could and still leave it like a bob um, because the tick population is going crazy here in New Jersey. I felt something crawling on my leg the other night. <laughs> And I reached down and pulled a tick right off of my leg. So I do want to talk about whether I'm going to either balayage myself. I've watched a lot of videos with color or if I'm going to color. I'm kind of against the all over color because then you become that person with the roots. Every time the wind blows, people can see your roots. So I did go through eSalon because I've gone through eSalon for color in the past. Um, I was sent a box through, I think it was Influencer and I tried it and it really came out really beautiful. So I did go through eSalon. It's a little bit cheaper to go through your drugstore if you don't have a lot of hair. But at the time when I ordered this, I had a lot of hair. In fact, I have a box that's got double what's in this box um, for two hair colorings. Let's see. How do we open this? Um, there we go. So <clears throat> it comes with your instructions and um, the color. And I wanted to go blondish. Uh, oh, they even give you a little sticker thing to to you know, put your instructions up on your mirror if you're really a rookie and don't know um, the steps to follow. But I've colored my hair for years because I started going, um, started getting white hairs when I was in my 20s still. And I got more when I was in my 30s. And finally, toward the end of my 30s, I started just coloring my whole head. So um, yeah, it's it's been nice to have natural hair. That's the only thing that has held me back. But I think given the color that it is right now, I think I can easily just balayage some blonde low lights into this and have it blend. So anyway, let me know what your thoughts are and if you've ever balayaged your hair yourself and how did it work out and um, you know, this is a kind of a going gray update. I haven't done an update, but I think I've done my time. I went, you know, full on um, gray hair. Oh my goodness, I'll put down the uh, when I first started a couple of years ago. So I've done my time. And now it's time for me to do something a little bit different. You never know when you might have a job interview or, you know, see an old friend or something. And I don't think I want to be colorless. Like it doesn't, right now, the way I'm looking in the mirror, it doesn't look colorless. But it looks gray, more gray than white. So yeah, I gotta, I gotta do something about this situation. <laughs> so. Let me know what your thoughts are. I know some of you will be like, don't do it. But I, it's, you know, I already bought the color and now I feel like I already bought the stuff. So I kind of have to do something. Um, but I already bought it. I have three months worth of color given the length of my hair now. Because the first box, since it was long, they sent me two sets um, in the first box so that I could get my all over color and not run out of hair color. Um, which is really considerate considering it didn't cost me any more to get the two uh, color box. Then for touch-ups and all, they send you a single box. So 
Yeah, I, I'll, uh, you know, I'm going to do something, whether it's balayage or full-on color, less likely that one. Um, so anyway, let me know what your thoughts are. You guys have watched me go through this going gray journey for a long time, and I think it's time for it to come to an end. And so I may come on one more time just to give you guys an update, and um, it'll probably be the final update. The last one I thought was a final update, but then after that I let it all grow out and um, cut my hair. So yeah, so I ended up with no color on my hair. During the pandemic, it was easy to just let the little bit of balayage that I had grow out because nobody was going anywhere and you couldn't go out of the house because everything was closed. Um, but now that we're out in the world more, I think um, it's time. So anyway, let me know what you think and I'll be back with an update. Thanks and have a beautiful evening. Good night.